welcome back to another video hope you are having a great day and today we are going to take a look on the easiest way that i'm aware of at this moment on how to install windows 10 or windows 11 on an external ssd and then we can use it on several computers while having all our operating system applications and documents right on our ssd and if it's something smaller like this one then i don't need to carry my laptop i just need to carry my ssd and use it on any computer really easy really fun so let's go straight for it and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below before we start with this guide which is just a few clicks as you will have the chance to see have in mind that it's not advisable to use a usb pen drive because usually they are slow i would suggest an ssd i'm using a sabrent rocket nano extreme it's really fast 2700 megabytes per second reads and on writes we don't need that much if you are on a budget i will leave a link down below for an enclosure which costs about 30 dollars 40 dollars more or less and then you can select any ssd that you want to put inside i would suggest something above 400 or 500 megabytes per second reads and writes so that you can have a great experience because we will have our operating system and apps right over here and with that out of the way let's go for our desktop now the app that we will need to install is an app that we have seen a couple of days ago i will leave a link right over here on the youtube cards and down below on the video description we did create a usb pen drive with windows 11 really easy and fast a replacement for rufus Today, we are going to use it to create an external SSD with our operating system. Now, we just need to go to Google, search for Windows 2 USB. You will find the Asleo Win 2 USB. It's totally free. Just download it, install on your computer, and that is it. I've got it on mine. We just need to select the first option, which is Windows to Go USB. Once we select, we will have the option to select installation source. There are three options. The first one is to browse an image, which is the Windows 11 image that we already downloaded. This is what we are going to do today. I've got the image on my desktop, Windows 11 24H2. If you haven't seen how to download and install on any computer, link down below for that guide as well, which is really fast and easy. Second choice is to current Windows OS, which means that we will create a clone of this computer to our external SSD. It's also fun, but we are not going to do that today. And the third option is to download the Windows ISO with this tool, but we already did that on a past video. So once again, the link will be down below. So let's select browse image file. Once we select it, it will ask us where is the image? Mine is on my desktop and I've got everything ready. I've got the app, I've got the Windows image, and I've got my external SSD, so we are ready to go. On the second step, it will ask us, what is the destination drive? Now, in my case, I will select the Sabrent Extreme, so I just need to select. And by default, the partition shim is GPT for UFI. In my particular case, I'm using the laptop N1, which is a 10th generation computer. I will leave a link down below, just in case you are looking for a laptop with double screens, which is really cool to use OBS at least for this kind of videos. I also used my laptop Xiaomi with an i7 8th generation and my desktop which is an i7 uh, 11th generation. So GPT for UFI is fine for these more recent computers but if you have a really old computer then you might want to select MBR for BIOS and UFI. The other option that we will have right over there is installation mode. I did select legacy, which means that we will use the uh, full disk, the external disk for our operating system. If we want to use the uh, SSD for anything else, then there's also the option for VHD or VHDX, which means that it will create a virtual disk inside our SSD with the operating system and the remaining space we can do whatever we want on any other computer. 
And basically that is it. There's also options for enabling BitLocker, which I don't want. So I just need to press proceed. And it took about five minutes or so to create the installation on our external SSD. At this moment, we have a full installation of Windows 11 on external SSD. So the first step is to shut down our computer. And now we will need to boot from the external SSD. For that, we just need to get in the BIOS settings and ask to boot from the external SSD. There are two ways we can do this. The manual way, which was the way that I did, every time the computer reboots, I will need to select BIOS and then boot from the external SSD. But if you are going to do this as a frequent thing, then I would suggest to just save on your BIOS settings to enable the boot from the external SSD every single time that it's connected. So this is something that you will need to decide for yourself. In my particular case, the computer booted up from the external SSD and as it's a new installation of Windows 11, we will need to proceed by the Microsoft questions, normal questions on any Windows 11 installation. While we went through the configuration, it did reboot about two times. I did have to select to boot up from the external SSD and in no time I was on my desktop. And this was the first happy moment I had full Windows 11 on a external SSD. Now, this is not the first time that I'm running an operating system on an external SSD, and I will leave some links down below, but not as easy as this. We have done it on Mac OS and on Windows and always a lot of steps. This one, just a few clicks and here we are. So I was, and I am really, really happy. Now, what I did uh, to be easier to share to that side of the screen, and also to me, I did change the desktop, completely different from any of the computers that I have. I also installed a few apps and I let them on my desktop, and that was it. And the next step was to test out on other computers. So I did shut down this computer, picked up my Xiaomi and put in the SSD, Turn on the Xiaomi laptop and once again I did have to go to BIOS so that it could boot from the external SSD. It did boot from it, I was getting really excited and once it did reach to the end the question that it did to me was hey um, you are doing something different from usual so we need to reset your pin and this is because I had a Microsoft account login. So if you want to uh, skip this step and don't lose time, just use a local account. I did change my pin and then I got in the desktop. I did change my account to a local account. So I didn't have to lose time next time that I change computer. And basically that was it. Now I had sound, I had image, I had everything. A great experience on my laptop, which was not the laptop that we did install Windows. We did install using this machine. The only thing that I did notice is that I was missing some drivers and drivers related to the motherboard. Those drivers were also missing on this laptop right over here. So the hint will be that we will need to install some drivers depending on the computer that we are. But that's just easy. Just go to the manufacturer of your computer, download, install like we would install on an internal SSD. And that is it. Now, the experience was really, really fun. It was working stable. I did small experiences watching videos, if the sound was good, if the image was good. I also created a text document on my desktop so that I could emulate that this is a document that I've got right over here and I can then use on another computer. So I was really, really happy with the result. So it did work on two laptops and then my curiosity was, okay, does it work on a desktop? I did test it out on my desktop and I did connect the external SSD. Then I went to the BIOS. It's an i7-11700 and it has 128 gigs of RAM, also a rocket for extreme SSD. And it did boot into my computer. Now, the only issue that I did see across my computer as well is that it was missing some drivers, some motherboard drivers. And one of the most essential drivers, it was missing my GPU driver, which is a NVIDIA RTX 3080 at this moment. So what I did was to go to the NVIDIA uh, website, download the drivers, installed. It had a glitch on the screen. It showed me an image which is completely distorted and whatnot while I was installing the drivers. But once I did finish up, I did reboot the computer. 
and bam i had the nvidia rtx 3080 working windows recognized drivers installed so really really awesome experience and this was one of the things that was really curious because okay i'm working on a weak laptop with my external ssd but if i want to go to a more powerful machine will i be able to take advantage of the hardware that this machine has and at this moment the answer is yes now i still haven't tested out heavy demanding apps like photoshop or adobe after effects or davinci resolve but i would say that this is really promising so as you could see really really easy guide took about two or three minutes and then the rest of the video was just my experience with these three machines hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one